Now we're going to take a look at the anatomy of x-ray. So basically this is the overall uh, landscape of how it works. So the first thing is we have the x-ray console and this is where we are going to be able to visualize, monitor, or uh, drill down into our tracing data. Uh, that data is going to be coming from the x-ray API. Now you'd think that you would just directly send your request to this API, but that's not the case. You send them to the x-ray daemon and this is used as a buffer because you're going to be sending a lot of requests. Uh, the data is coming from the X-Ray SDK. And so here we have Ruby, Python, and Node. There's a lot more uh, than just the ones there. Uh, we'll talk about that later. And then we have the uh, SDK and CLI. And this could as well be sending um, uh, the segment data to X-Ray Daemon, or it could be directly interacting, interacting with the X-Ray API. So let's talk about the X-Ray SDK because this is where all our segment data is coming from and that is what we're visualizing in the X-Ray console. So the X-Ray SDK provides a way to intercept um, incoming HTTP requests. So that means request information around that kind of stuff. Then it has something called client handlers. And this is just really the, uh, the SDKs that are specific per language. So when it says SDK client, it, we're talking just about like the Ruby client or the Python client or et cetera. Uh, and we're able to set up instrumenting. Uh, and we'll talk about that in the next slide because instrument is kind of a, a vague term, uh, but it'll make more sense soon enough. Uh, and then it also has an HTTP client. So we can use this to instrument calls to in internal or external HTTP web services, and also just to deliver our, um, our information actually to the X-Ray daemon. So that's another component of it. And I want to point out that the SDK does support instrumenting calls for the uh, for SQL databases. Um, and for other features, the one that's worth highlighting SQL, is SQL databases because it really lets you drill down to see uh, what's happening with your database calls um, for that. But anyway, let's move on to what instrumenting is.